Father, we say thank you. King of glory, we say thank you. Rose of Sharon, we say thank you. Blessed be your name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Be seated in the presence of the Lord. Isaiah 61 and verse 3. We can take it from verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord have anointed me to preach good tidings unto the make. He has sent me to bind those who had as be broken in this election. To proclaim new Nigeria to those who are in captives. Allow me to preach now. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. And I pray that every prison door against you, against Nigeria, the Lord shall break the prison door. No matter how they try to keep us in the prison, it will not work. We shall have our total liberation and freedom. Somebody let your amen be louder. To proclaim the acceptable year of Nigeria freedom of God's delight freedom and the day of vengeance of our God to them who are oppressing us and to comfort all that mom to appoint unto them that mom is Zion to give unto them what? To give unto them beauty for ashes. The oil of joy. The oil of what? For what? The garment of praise. For the spirit of what? That they might be called the trees of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. And they shall build. Are we building right now? And Nigeria shall build the old waste. They shall rise up. The former desolation. And they shall repair the waste cities. The desolation of many generations. A stranger shall stand and feed your flocks. And the sons of Elia shall be your plumbers and your vain dressers. And ye shall be named the priests of the Lord. Men shall call you the ministers of our God. You shall eat the riches of the Gentiles. And in their glory you shall boast. God has brought another new light. My prayer for all of us we shall see the end of the light. Let your amen be the loudest and the biggest. I want to preach on a message I titled Deliverance from Self Pity. Deliverance from what? And that is in the verse 3 to appoint unto them that more is Zion, to give unto them beauty for arches, the oil of joy for money. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. The garment of praise for the spirit of what? Child of God. The spirit of heaviness is the spirit of self-pity. When somebody's attacked with the spirit of heaviness, the person tends to withdraw to him or herself. He withdraws from people. 
There is a power called the spirit of self-pity. It makes you hate everything around you. It makes you feel that you have not done your best. There is a power called the spirit of self-pity. That power makes you reject what is good for you. And then make you realize you have made a mistake. There's a power of spirit of self pity that attracts the spirit of madness. Somebody will just stay on his own. Say, I like to be on my own. Gradually, the person has graduated to madness. In fact, it is a spirit of setback. It takes you from opportunities that are meant for you. This power makes you make mistakes that you question your life. What have I done to myself? This power makes you expose your secrets to your enemy. And then you start regretting what have I done. This power is the what is behind what we call baby mama spirit. They didn't plan for it. The thing came into them. It is a spirit of heaviness, but it ends in self-pity. This power makes you see people and reject them. This spirit of self of emptiness or self-pity. It is a spirit that gradually pushes you away from things that will make you better. It is a spirit of discouragement. There's anything the devil has brought in this time when we say this year is a year of deep revival. It's a spirit of discouragement. This spirit is a spirit that makes you abandon things you are doing. And just said, you are no longer interested. Oh, everybody has abandoned me. It is a spirit that will make your bones and your strength to be broken. That you will even forget prayer. It is a spirit of confusion. This spirit make you criticize everything around you. Make you oppose and object everything. It is a spirit of death. It is a spirit of defeat. It is a spirit that does not make you look orderly. You are not organized. You are not proactive. It brings failure. This spirit is a spirit that makes you surrender too early. I don't think I can finish this school. I don't think I can do this business. It's always giving you negative excuse. It's a spirit of fatigue. It's a spirit that makes you busy, but you don't get what you are busy for. It is a spirit that gives you headache, gives you heartbreak, and makes you helpless. It is a spirit that gives high blood pressure and attracts heart disease. Sometimes it makes you dress, look good, but inside you, you are not good. Making you uncomfortable. You just dress. It's a spirit of sleepless nights. The spirit of bad nights and nightmares. It is a spirit of bad day. Anytime you wake up with it, it makes you look weak not to move from your bed. You begin to suggest what to do. Maybe before you realize 12 o'clock, you bounce back. It's a spirit of laziness. It's not just a spirit. This spirit of self-pity. It's a spirit of rejection. It's a spirit of suicide. That place the Bible said. For the spirit. It said. The oil of joy for money. The garment of praise. For the spirit of of heaviness. It's a spirit of rejection. It's a spirit of sorrow. It's a spirit of sleepless night. It's a spirit you look yourself that you are not worthy. 
Anytime you look at anybody, you try to look at them and say, well, this one is better than me. It always talk you down. Always make you look inferior. Always make you see that people have gone ahead of you. You have not achieved anything. This self-pity have destroyed many believers. Have destroyed so many mighty men. Have made people change their mind. Okay, let me try this. Let me take this alternative. Whereas it is the spirit that is at work. I only came here this morning to pray for anyone that is having self-pity or anything you are going through. I want to tell you that there is a better joy ahead of Nigeria. There is a better thing ahead of your tomorrow and ahead of your prophecy. And every spirit of self-pity that wants you to enter the pit that the enemy has planned for you, you shall jump out of that pit. How many of us want to jump out of that pit? Stand up your feet and lift your hand. Say, by the power of the Holy Spirit, every arrow of self-pity fired into my spirit. I fire you back. Open your mouth and fire them back. Fire them back. Every arrow of self-pity designed to waste my life. Fire them back. Fire them back. Arrow of self-pity. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. See that. It is a spirit, sir, of making you feel that your friends have achieved. You have not achieved anything. It's a spirit that tells you, look at what others are doing and doing ahead. And you are still here. It's always there to make you go down. Always there to make you ridicule your life. When you are in the church, you are smiling. But when you are out of the church, you are crying. Nobody sees the tears. But this side you, you are asking yourself, when will I be delivered from this? That is why they call it heaviness. But the totality of the heaviness is self-pity. If the Bible said, all year of joy for money and the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. The question here is, a whole garment was used to cover the spirit. It shows the level of what the spirit can do. And one thing I want to pray for you today, I am sending that spirit of self-pity. We will not regret to see the end of the vote of Nigeria. Rather, we will celebrate. We will all say, God, thank you at last. And every spirit of self-pity shall go back to the camp of our enemies. And I pray you shall be called the tree of righteousness. And every tree that the enemy said you will not eat the fruit, I declare that enemy is dead right now. Let your amen be the loudest in the mighty name of Jesus. That spirit of self-pity, sir, is what attracts moving objects. It's what make people soliloquize. It's what make people cry when nobody is there. Look at your age. Say, See where I am. Look at what has happened to me. It is a spirit of self-pity. The spirit you look around your children and look around your life. What is happening? The spirit of self-pity. But this morning, the Lord wants to take it away and put a new garment and put a new spirit. That spirit of self-pity that attracts death, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I fire them back. Any power that is making self-pity spirit enter you, when, even when you are doing best, you see yourself you are not doing anything. All to attract high blood pressure. Stand up on your feet, you are going to pray now. Say you that spirit of self-pity that is programmed in my spirit. I fire you back. Open your mouth and fire it back. Spirit of self-pity disappear from my life. Disappear from my destiny. Disappear from my dream. Declare what against it. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.